Hello Leo viewers. So today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks, and anything else your guides want to tell you about your current path. So let's start with that. What do you what do your guides want you to know about your current path? What's going on with that? And then we'll look into what your person is thinking and feeling in relation to that. So what do you need to know right now? Isolation, loneliness, emptiness, public publicity, uh, social media, listening and understanding, new perspective, true love and abundance now flows to you naturally and effortless, effortlessly as a result of your open-mindedness, faith, and bravery. We've got sex and seduction, mixed feelings and hesitation, sense of home and belonging, and then we have willpower, strength, and confidence. I think you're coming into a new phase in your life because I see the, the isolation and loneliness and emptiness card being connected to social media here. Um, I kind of feel like that's saying, so for some of you, it's saying that you've been feeling alone and social media is actually like the only outlet you have to connect with people right now. And so it's actually helping you. For others, it's saying maybe taking a, maybe not like deleting your account, but maybe connecting with people outside of social media would be good for you right now so it's it's you know what your story is i think there's two different stories here for so for some of you social media is making the loneliness and isolation worse and for some of you it's making it better so like for some of you that's your only connection you have to people right now and it's really helping you get by for others i feel like it's saying it's like you're just behind a screen so much that you're forgetting how to like interact with other humans it's like you're missing that social contact um, I know it's tricky right now with the coronavirus and everything going on. It's hard to, like, we can't really have a whole lot of social contact. But it's saying there's something, there's something tied with loneliness and social media here. You have a new perspective that's coming in as well. Listening and understanding, getting into this alignment with, where things just flow to you naturally. I kind of feel like, so this could be someone that you're leaving behind it could just be a general energy and a pattern that you're breaking with people where it's like you see here she's kind of trying to be this is sex and seduction it's like she's trying to be cute she's trying to be seductive she's trying to draw this person into her and it's like they're still hesitating they're still having mixed feelings they're still not standing their ground and claiming you they're still not really doing much and it's like they're saying, like with safe space, it's almost like this person has like been staying in their comfort zone. It's like you're trying to be seductive and they haven't been noticing it. And so I feel like you're coming out of that energy and you're like, you're focusing on yourself more. You're feeling at home within yourself more. You know, this is willpower, strength, confidence, just putting yourself first, being powerful, um, doing the things that are right for you. So this could be a person that you're leaving behind, but it might not necessarily be a person. I think for a lot of you, it's just a pattern that you're breaking right now, like a pattern of trying to be cute and seductive and trying to draw some, draw people in, but it's like you're always doing most of the work. It's like, and they're hesitating and having mixed feelings. It's like you have this pattern, it looks like, with emotionally unavailable people and it's like, see, she's putting a lot of effort into seducing this person. And they're just like off in their head, just being a baby, basically, you know, being scared, being confused, not not knowing who they are, not knowing what they want. And you're coming out of that pattern of attracting and being attracted to emotionally unavailable people. I think you're saying you want to be that way. You can go ahead and be that way. I'm not going to deal with this. So again, whether it's a person or it's just a pattern, like you have this this pattern that's been repeating with emotionally unavailable people, you're coming out of that now with willpower and strength and confidence. You're becoming more, you've learned a lot of hard lessons. You're becoming more aware of what you will and will not tolerate. You're setting firmer boundaries with people. You're not really dealing with the same stuff that you dealt with in the past. So that's kind of where you're at now, I feel. Um... Again, you could this could you could be single and you could just be breaking this pattern so you can attract true love. For others of you, I think this might be someone that you were dealing with, and it's like you try to be cute and seductive, and they just 
it's like you felt unwanted. You didn't feel really, you didn't really feel beautiful and wanted and desirable with this person. They didn't really bring out the best in you. And so you're realizing what you deserve and what you want and what you will and will not settle for. And so you're breaking that pattern of, of, um, being with emotionally unavailable people and you're, you're moving forward, um, in your own pursuits, your own passions and hobbies and career pursuits and the things that you want to do so you can manifest somebody who's a lot mentally stronger and on your level. I think this person was very weak-minded. I think they were very lost. I think they didn't really know themselves, and so I don't think it's much of a loss for you, to be honest. Um, if this was a person, it's not really a loss. They, were, they weren't on your level at all. Um, and if this is just a pattern, well, either either way, it's a pattern. Whether it, whether it was a person you were just dealing with, or whether it's just in general, you're you're very introspective right now and thinking about the past and the things that you've been through. Either way, it is a pattern with emotionally unavailable people that you're now breaking. So that's really good. So let's see. Is can we can we see what's going on with um with love? after this pattern is broken so so once and again all of you are going to be on different levels some of you have just broken this pattern some of you are still in the process of breaking it it can be a process you know this can take a long time it's it's it takes a lot of willpower and strength to break a pattern this this like this especially if it's deeply subconsciously rooted in like childhood issues and patterns that have been repeating for years you know it takes a lot of work sometimes to break those you really have to stay on top of yourself and be mindful of, you know, you know, develop your intuition and be mindful of who you're talking to, who you're attracting, be mindful of body language. A lot of times I've had a pattern like this too. And, and a lot of times if I, if I'm attracted to a guy right away, sometimes I won't even trust it because I'm like, okay, this is probably a subconscious pattern. This is body language. I try more to, um, Well, it depends on the energy because there is also, I do believe in love at first sight at the same time because if you've had past lives with someone and you meet them, sometimes you just intuitively know, like you just see them, you're like, holy shit, that's like my person, you know, but there is an energy difference between meeting someone and you're just instantly attracted to their body language and mannerisms and meeting someone and having this like light bulb moment, epiphany, just instant soul connection and, and if having that feeling with them right away, you know, they're both very quick feelings, but there's, there is an energy difference. And if you develop your intuition further, you'll be aware, you'll start becoming aware of that energy difference, you know, tune into your body. Like, how does your body feel with this person? How do your chakras feel? Like, does your heart feel open with this person? Do you feel relaxed with this person? Or does your body feel kind of tight and, and defensive and on edge? Like really tune into your body, tune into you know, we all have different intuitive abilities. Some have, you know, some are more clairsentient than claircognizant or whatever it might be, you know, really um, develop all your psychic abilities and, and tune into them and figure out how your intuition works. Because with like visions, with, um, you know, feelings in your body, intuitive insights, it might be different for you than it is for other people. You might have certain like your guides will communicate with you in the way that works for you. You know what I mean? So there might be like a flash of light and that means something specific for you. Whereas with someone else, they wouldn't know what that meant. Or you might see, um, hear a certain song or see it or certain movie clips or just certain synchronicities. It's like, you got to figure out how your intuition works for you specifically, how you're, you got to get in contact with your guides, um, in a safe space and figure out specifically how your guides are communicating with you and just what works for you intuitively. You know what I mean? And you really got to tune into your body and see, like, is this a past life? Is this like a, a pattern that I keep repeating? Or is this a soul connection? You know, a lot of the best connections that I've had with people have been when I wasn't physically fully attracted right away. Like I was a little bit attracted and a little bit interested. And there was this soul connection there. But it's like we talked and we just could talk for hours and just open up to each other. And my body felt relaxed around them and I felt safe, completely safe, 100% secure with them. There's just like this inner knowing that you've had this soulmate past life connection with this person. It's like a, it's soul recognition. And, you know, that's what you want. That's that's you want something soul based, not just based on your subconscious pattern. So I think you are working hard to to 
to um to end those those patterns right now i hope that makes sense i can if that didn't make sense just comment below and i'll clarify for you but um so once you've broken okay so now so now we're we're done with the with the emotionally unavailable people and the the that pattern and you're working on breaking that you're working on developing your intuition and doing what's best for you you know getting on your own path getting into your power being strong being confident manifest you know planting the seeds manifesting a soul-based connection someone who's actually going to be mentally strong and on your level so what does this connection look like when it comes in like after you've done the work i mean after you've ended this pattern and you you really did you you know connect with this uh this soulmate or this twin flame what does this connection look like what can we say about it Yeah, it's good. It looks good overall. It's spying. Power struggle, chaser, chasey, domination, control, mutual feelings, emotional depth, passion and romance, and nostalgia and longing, courage, assertiveness, and forward movement. And then we have shyness and fear of rejection. I think you're really developing your confidence right now. I think you just learned some hard lessons about what you don't want in your life. Um, so when this new person comes around, I think that you're going to be able to seduce them. Like I think before the people that you've had in your lives, like you've tried to be cute and seductive with them. And it's like they're so selfish and they're so in their head and focused on themselves that they didn't realize when you were trying to be cute or they didn't realize when you were trying to be seductive. They didn't like... It's just like you felt neglected, I think, when it comes to like like sexually or like emotionally, just with that passion. It's like you kind of felt neglected in those past connections that you've had. Um, but I think you're developing, you're really working on yourself, maybe working on your image, working on just hobbies, career, just the things that make you happy. And so I think when this person comes around, you're going to be in that seductive energy. You're not going to let the past people take you out of that energy. You know what I mean? You're like, you might not have noticed when I was trying to be cute or when I was trying to dress up or make an effort for you, but this person will notice that. He he or she will notice those things about you that other people just kind of took for granted. You know, with the power struggle here and spying, it's like you're just going to be kind of doing your thing, and I think this person might be stalking you on social media. Um, I think it's like, I don't, feel a negative energy from the power struggle in the, the chaser chasey energy here that I get. I get more of like a, it's like if you guys have ever read The Art of Seduction, that book, it's kind of like that type of energy where it's like you're just, you're changing your image right now and you're going to be in this powerful seductive energy. And so this person's going to be, it's very, it's a very sexual energy too that I'm getting. Um that you're going to turn this person on a lot, definitely. This person is going to have sexual, f is, is or they're going to be when they come in, what, 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 wherever you, you're at on your path, I'm not sure. But this person either is or they will be having a lot of sexual fantasies about you when they come in. They will be spying on you, looking at your pictures on your social media, um, watching you. I think this is like watching you if you guys are hanging out in person too. Like they're going to be noticing the way you dress, the way you act, your cute little mannerisms. They're going to take note and observe and really notice all the things that other people, other exes in your past didn't really notice about you. You know what I mean? Like they're going to admire all those little cute quirks about yourself that other people just kind of took for granted about you. So yeah, they're, they're spying. There's this energy of, it's like they're chasing you kind of. Like it's it's not a negative power struggle. It's more like a positive, like like they're, it's just kind of, it's just like this this very sexual kind of dom dominant energy where they're going to just want to please you. It's like you have the upper hand, you know? See, this is like a very sexual relationship too. Like domination, control, like see how seductive she is. It's like she's 
could be like a power couple here too, but it's like you've got the upper hand, like you you have this person eating out of your palm. Where in before, in the past, it's been like the opposite, you know what I mean? And now the tables are turning and it's like you're going to have this person just enthralled by you and just like just noticing your charisma and your charm and your your um the way you dress and style your hair just every little little thing about you every little detail they're going to be noticing and you're going to have the upper hand you're going to be like the dominant one in a sense where it's like they're going to be just kind of submissive to you and just kind of wanting to please you and wanting to do what you want you know there is this like this mutual feeling here this emotional depth and, um, you know, passion, romance, all of that is coming in with this relationship. There is this nostalgia and longing, too. I kind of see it as this person, like, eating out of the palm of your hand, like, giving into their passion, giving into their feelings for you. It's like, it's a very sexual relationship, too, and you're the dominant one in this relationship. But in, like, a good way. I mean, not in, like, a negative way. Like, you're the dominant one in a really good way because it's, like, you have this person willing to do whatever they need to do to, like, make you happy. And it's very sexual, so I don't know if this is, like, a dom-sub relationship, too. There might be some of that energy to it as well. And they do feel shy and scared of rejection. Like, they will feel kind of awkward. But I think that... I think you're going to take charge and you're going to help them get past that. So they are going to come forward. They are going to be assertive and have courage. I think that you're going to be kind of guiding them and kind of like, like I sense a more submissive person that's coming in here, but they're sweet, I think. But you're, you're, you're kind of going to be able to just tell them what you want and don't want. And they're just going to listen to you because they're going to want to make you happy, you know? So... It's an interesting energy. It's really, it's, yeah. Let me see what else I can get from the cards. What else do we need to know about this relationship? What else is there to say about it? What, is, what does this person want to say when they're coming in? That one. My guides constantly remind me of you. I can't escape the synchronicity. Your name comes up in conversation. So yeah, they're going to be pushing, be pushed towards you for sure. I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. I can't figure out who I am or what I want. I think that's the past person saying that. And it's like, you're, you're done with that. I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you. So I ran. I am detached from the karmic. I'm planning out a way to finally end things with them. Hmm. So this is for those of you that are in a third party situation. Like your person is being submissive to you and pulling away from the karmic. I lied to you. Um, and you, you know what the lie is. You'll know what that is, I think. I want to ask you out, but I'm afraid you'll say no. That would be awkward. See, so this person is like, they're sweet, but they're kind of submissive. They're very like shy and submissive. So you're going to be the dominant one in this connection. You're going to be taking control and kind of telling them how to treat you. Um, and again, you know, if you want to manifest someone else, it's up to you. I think the world is your oyster right now. So you get to decide if this connection is enough, this connection that's coming in, if it's enough for you. Or if you want someone that's more dominant, you know, I think you're just coming into your power and you're in this seductive energy where it's like you get to decide what you want next, you know, you're at like this crossroads in your life where you kind of get to decide what comes, um, you just get to decide your path right now, you get to make your life what you want it to be, so it's very good energy, uh, if you want to purchase either of these decks, go ahead and message me, also if you are interested in booking a private reading, I can look more in depth into your situation. My email address is below. And if this resonates, go ahead and like, comment, uh, subscribe to me. I do these readings pretty regularly. Thanks for watching.